Hi there, it's Janine Howard, CEO and founder of Iconic Empires and Profile Magazine. A little bit out of the shot there. Today I wanted to talk to you about a, a strategy that we're teaching our clients to gain a following, to become an expert in their industry and to get clients all without spending a cent. All right, a free strategy. Now this strategy is awesome for when you're very first starting your own business, so coaching, consulting, coach, speaker, author, that kind of business. And that is using what I use in my magazine empires into your online business. And really it's about creating a content marketing platform, or as I like to call it, create your own media empire. This day and age, we've got so many free platforms that you can literally create your own media empire on. So whether it's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, podcast, et cetera, et cetera. So for my clients, what we're finding is that they can use Facebook, like just nail one thing I always say first, so they can use Facebook to create their own media empire. And they're doing it through a couple of different ways. So one of them is I guess think about it about creating your own show. And really, with Facebook Live these days, I don't know why people don't think of this, but it's like Facebook Live is your own TV show. It's your own TV channel. So you can do something as simple as just showing up every day at the same time with a Facebook Live and just call it a show. Now, of course, the content in that is really important that you're giving really clear instructions and content and strategy. Like we always say, give away your best stuff so that people start engaging with you. They'll start seeing you as that expert and then you can do a call to action. So for example, uh, I did a Facebook Live yesterday and my call to action was, uh, we're talking about business models. If your business model sucks, <laughs> it's not the words I said, but if your business model isn't working for you, private message me, tell me what your business model is and I'll help you out. So then what happens is I have these people private message me, you know, we, we engage, perhaps they, they may have known of me a little bit um, and we start engaging and getting a rapport and building a relationship. And then what I would probably do, if they were right for it, I would send them an offer to have a strategy session with me on the phone. Your Facebook Live call to action could be joining your Facebook group. It could be booking a call with you. You know, it's about the next step and you don't always have to do a call to action. The call to action could just be to engage with you. Whenever I do a Facebook Live, it's around the time that the chickens are laying eggs. <laughs> you can hear a chicken barking, they're laying an egg. We keep it real here at Iconic Empires. Um, so you could do a Facebook Live every day, you know, say Monday to Friday at a certain time. The other really great way that my clients are gaining a following, they're gaining expert status, they're getting clients from it, is creating an interview series. Now there's two different ways to create this interview series. Well, actually there's three. Um, one of them is just say perhaps once a week, interview an expert who's in your field that generally has a greater following than you. So of course you would th then give that expert, um, you know, graphics to promote your show. Um, you know, you could even put a, a premiere on Facebook Live to advise people of when you're going live. They can actually tap on to be um, advised, notified when you're going live. And you would actually get that other expert to share it out through their platforms as well drawing traffic back to you and your Facebook page. Then of course it's up to you to do the next steps, call to action, show them, the, you know, give them an opt-in to perhaps download your, you know, free workbook, um, something like that that goes with it, or perhaps if you've got an ebook or a PDF, something like that. So it's about drawing people to you. So this is what we call attraction marketing. So by using a content marketing platform to draw people to you. The second way is to create seasons. So one of my clients is, is a busy mum. She doesn't want to be doing a show all of the time. She wants to have school holidays off, that kind of thing. So what she's doing is pre-recording as many interviews as she can and bunching them into a season. So I think she's doing say eight shows in a season. She'll do four seasons a year and she only has to batch them. She doesn't have to work all of the time. 
So she's got access to some really high profile celebrity type people. So she's batching these interviews and then she's putting them out through Facebook and her email list and onto YouTube as if they're going live like a TV show, right? Think about it like a TV show. Now through that, she's gaining not only credibility and expert status, but what she's doing is well, this particular client, uh, client is a ghostwriter for um, people who want to write a book and her perfect client are celebrities who want to write their book and she could do it for them. So she gets to contact them to say, hey, look, I'm a ghostwriter and I have my own show. Would you like to be a guest on my show? And they're all flattered and that kind of thing. They're getting to know, like, and trust her. So then she's also got the interviewees as potential clients as well as the audience. The third way is a lot more involved and it's a pretty intense process of maybe two to three months and that is um, what we know as a summit. Now in Australia, there's not many people doing summits. Um, in the States, say with one of my mentors, um, you know, summits are the way that you start building your email list through her. She doesn't let you, you know, go off and do anything else until you've done this part of the work. And so what summits do is it's, a, it's about interviewing a whole bunch of experts again, usually say, you know, 25 to, to 30 experts, um, pre-recording all of those. But the idea is that you ask those experts to share it out through their email list, through their social media platform, They've got to sign a speaker agreement. Generally, those people need to have at least 5,000 people on their email list, so they've got a big following, right? So they're already influencers. Um, so even if you have no email list whatsoever, a summit is great, and any of these methods are great because you're building your following off the back of other people. Now, if you think about my magazine model, you know, since 2003, I've been in magazines, you know, my expert status has risen because I am the platform to share stories of other people. So then vicariously, I become seen as an expert, get known, etc. And that's when I was able to, after having my own magazine empire for many years, I was able to then create my own coaching company off the back of that. So now these days I've got the both again. So for me, um, I do a combination. So I do my, my summits, my interview series, my Facebook lives, you know, all of that kind of thing. Plus I've got my magazine content marketing platform that I get to be introduced to a whole heap of influencers, which then get to know me, spread my magazine and message out to the world and it all comes back around, right? So it's about Tapping into, you know, what's your show going to be about it has to be relevant to the solution that you're going to bring people. Uh, give it a cool name, right? Um, I, I, no, I won't share some of my client stuff, you know, that, that's personal to them, but they've got some really, really awesome shows. Decide what you're going to commit to. Consistency is absolutely the key. Same as like what we do in a magazine is that you have to be, hello from FNQ. Um, so same with a magazine, you have to be consistent. People need to be able to trust you to know that your, your show or your summit or your, your content marketing platform is going to keep showing up. And remember too, I heard this the other day, you have to ask yourself a question with all of your content that you're doing. You have to ask yourself a question that if you stopped making content tomorrow, would anybody miss it? right? And for many of us, people probably won't remember that you were making content. So you've got to make this content memorable. You've got to make it consistent. You've got to show up constantly for this. And you know, again, if you're busy and time poor, that is not an excuse in any way, shape or form. Like my client who is a mum, she only works part time in a business. She batches all of her content. So she does it all in one go and then drip feeds that content out. So with all of that content as well, there is absolutely no point in the world just putting out content without a call to action. So you've got to bring that audience in and ground them into something of the next step. So again, that next step might be, hey, look, here is a free opt-in. You know, if you exchange your email address, you know, here it is. That's the best one, by the way, because we want to be able to talk to those people 
off our own back. We want to be able to, you know, email marketing is the cheapest way to be able to contact people in your world. You know, you think that Facebook's free. Well, it's actually getting harder and harder to be seen. So bring them back to an email so that you can actually speak directly to them. The call to action could be private message me for my download. It could be you know, comment below, it could be share this post, it could be, you know, anything that is about engaging and the next step. So a, a life for another day, just think about the next step is if someone's seeing your content for the first time, they are just getting to know you and you need to consistently show up. It's like going on a date. You know, they're just getting to know you, warm them up. So keep going, keep going, keep going up those dates constantly. Um, you know, with a little call to action. So, you know, on a date, the next call to action might be, hey, would you like to go for breakfast on Sunday? You know, take it easy, take it easy. And then eventually once they know, like, and trust you, you can start to go to the next level. You know, don't want to get married too quickly. And, and by getting married is, hey, would you like to buy my program? All right, my, my service. So we're not doing a content to go, hey, would you like to buy my program? Here it is, this is the price. That's not what we're doing. It's about attraction marketing, about putting out really awesome content in a way that draws people to you because you've got something to say and your content is highly valuable and they can rely on it being consistent. And then the next step, the next step, the next step, the next step. That is where the magic happens. So you showing up in your brilliance, giving out your best stuff for free, but also remember interviewing other people who have a larger following than you helps you build your following. So that's just a really quick overview of how to create a media empire. And again, the reason for doing that is so that you can have clients come to you because they know, like, and trust you. And that is where the gold is, right? So remember in the old days, like, I sound like, you know, grandma here. Back in the old days, relationships were how business was done. I, uh, I worked in tourism for many years before going into media and tourism and media are very similar industries and in everyone knows everyone. Like here on the Sunshine Coast in Australia, um, People are still moving, say, from Cairns, where I used to live years ago. Oh my God, and we, you know, know each other, holy solely, like that know, like, trust you factor is because we all were in industry that were built on relationships. So even though you may have an online business, you might be a service-based provider, consultant, you might even have products, everything is still sold by relationships. So the great way that you have these days is these free platforms to create relationships with potential clients by creating a media empire. All right, I hope that makes sense to you. If you want to know more about that, uh, just private message me. So call to action, people. So private message me and you know, if you've been thinking about creating some sort of media empire for yourself, so like a, an online TV show, or even if you're trying to show up daily on a Facebook Live, you know, tell me what your pain point is, and I'll have a look at your business and give you a suggestion of which way I think you should go. Um, the other one, by the way, that some of our clients are doing, it's a little bit more technical, is podcasting. Um, but again, that requires a whole different aspect, which we are teaching, and we're going to be teaching some workshops on podcasting uh, very soon as one way of creating a media empire. But right now, today, you could start your own media empire with Facebook Live, right? So if you've got no cash and you wanna really get your business off the ground, these are some really great free strategies to get out there and attract clients to you. All right, have an amazing day.